Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to use inference rules to prove a conclusion given the knowledge basis in artificial intelligence. In this case, we have been given four knowledge bases. We need to use the inference rules and then we need to prove the sentence A and B here. Now, to prove this uh, A and B, uh, if you look at these knowledge bases, uh, A is present in the third knowledge base and B is present in the first knowledge base here. Now, we need to get this A somehow as well as we need to get this uh, B here. For that reason, uh, first what we need to do is uh, we will take this uh, fourth knowledge base that is the C. And then uh, what I will do is I will apply a unit resolution operation between knowledge base uh, 2 as well as the first step here. So, if you look at this knowledge base 2, what it says is a negation of C or D and uh, this uh, the first step says that C here. So, C and the negation of C is present here or D, the answer will be D in this case. So, that is the meaning of unit resolution rule here. Now, we got D here. Now, what we do is between knowledge base 3 and this second step, what we do is we will apply the modus opponents rule. If I apply the modus opponents rule between this one, that is D implies A and D, we will get what? A here. So, that is what the modus opponents rule is all about. Now, what we got here? We got A. But what is required uh, to get this B? We need to get A or negation of C is required. If we have A or negation of C, then uh, we will get B as the answer here with the help of again the uh, modus ponens rule. So, what we do here is uh, we will introduce or in this case or negation of C. Because you can see here uh, what this uh, third step says A is true. If A is true, true or anything is true here. So, that is the reason uh, we can introduce or here. So, if I introduce or, it will become what? A or negation of C in this case. So, this is the fourth step and this is the knowledge base here. So, A or negation of C and this uh, uh, knowledge base 1, if you apply the modus ponens rule between these two things, we will get what? B here because this will exactly match with this A or negation of C here. So, we got what? B in this case. Now, in the third step, we have A. In the fifth step, we have B. Between these two things, we can introduce uh, I and here, we will get A and B. So, that is what is the final thing required uh, for this uh, problem definition here. So, what we did here is uh, we have applied some set of uh, inference rules on the given uh, knowledge base to come up with the conclusion in this case. So, this is not the only process with which we will get this uh, A and B here. We can apply some different set of uh, inference rules uh, so that we will get uh, this uh, the conclusion here. So, I have shown one set of inference rules with which we will be able to prove the given conclusion in this case. I hope the concept of uh, proving a statement using inference rule is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.